Hey guys, so today what I'm going to be doing is installing and setting up my own I2P based blog. And if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to tell you the steps that I'm going through to get this set up on my own computer, my server actually. So what I've done is I've put together server hardware and then I also have put a Debian image on that server's storage. And in addition to that, I converted it over to KickSecure. And that brings in extra hardening and KickSecure. Check out my earlier videos on that. It's essentially what Hunix is based off of. So it has all the great hardening and privacy benefits seen in Hunix outside the Torified setup. So all the hardening for Debian comes stock. So it's a great way to speed up the process of hardening a Debian operating system. And uh, that's what I did so far. So let's take a look at what the good people at the I2P project have shared with me. So it looks like IDK has created something called Railroad, which is a simple way to start hosting your own blog on the I2P network. And it's actually really easy to set up. I haven't actually gone through it, but just reading this, it looks like it's going to be very easy to get started with. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I've done so far. All I've done so far is simply downloaded this. So of course, first you're going to need to have I2P because the plugin download link is on an I2P server. So check out my getting started with I2P videos and you might like to try out I2P Plus. I2P Plus is an enhanced version of the Java I2P anonymity network console and platform so it's a really great option out there everyone's familiar with Tor but not everyone knows about I2P and I2P has its own unique benefits so once you have the I2P set up in fact I even created a little bit of a browser uh, shortcut set up for anyone interested in having an automated I2P browser set up on their desktop you just double click this it starts the I2P router in the background and when you close the browser it also shuts down and stops the I2P router so it's one of those things you can use as needed but I do recommend leaving it running as often as possible to help the network out and also helps yourself out the more you participate in the network the better everyone's anonymity is. So once you have a I2P browser set up, whatever choice it is that you decide on as an I2P browser setup, follow any tutorial on the internet to get a working I2P browser with the Java version because this plugin we're looking at relies on the Java I2P version. And so once you have that set up, you can go right to this link right here. Now I'm doing it on a Linux server. You could do this on your desktop, any computer that lines up with these operating systems and architectures can use this plugin. And this is my very first time doing this, so I'm just as new to this railroad thing as you are. So I'm just going to be reading the instructions and following along, and I encourage you to try this with me so you can set up your own I2P based blog setup that you can host anything you want on. Now we need to find the item called SAM Application Bridge and then we're going to select Run at Startup and press the small arrow to the right. This is what it looks like, so we're going to be looking for the SAM Application Bridge. and we're selecting run at startup. That's the important part there that's in the instructions. Okay, we're back again. So apparently something must have been missed. And what actually happened is I didn't actually have it save the client configuration. That is one thing. So make sure you set this to uh, run it startup and start it and then hit save configuration. And after you've done that, go up here to plugins. We're going to try this another way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this plugins area and then what I'm going to do instead of just running it as mentioned on the github I'm actually going to copy and paste the URL there and we're going to see if that works out a little better for us so we'll go ahead and we're going to click 
since it is the right kind of file as you see it's a dot su3 plugin so we're gonna hit install plugin that's really cool that you can simply hit install plugin and have countless different types of I2P plugins that you can use to customize all kinds of servers and clients around the I2P EPnet. So that is something I really love about I2P is there is an extensive console interface that you can use to customize so much about your I2P usage, including the amount of peers in each tunnel and the amount of hops. But with the I2P network, you can actually change that. And we're going to be covering that in coming content as well. So as you can see, it still says it's downloading the plugin from idk.i2p. So remember, you have to have an I2p browser set up to follow the instructions on this video today. Uh, so when you go through the process that I show you, uh, everything is going to work out as long as you follow the steps that I mentioned to follow. So just stay in line with this video and hopefully you'll get a similar result. So at this point, what we're doing is we're simply watching this downloading plugin. As you can see, it shows you the status. So it's nice to see the progress. We see that it is downloaded 1.73 out of 39.03. So it's going to be a little bit. So hang tight and wait for it to finish downloading the plugin. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now that we have successfully installed the plugin, you can go to this link, and I am super excited to see it actually is working. Now, this wasn't something I knew if it would work out or not, but it's super easy to set up. So I'm going to continue setting this up. I do encourage anyone who has any interest in hosting a site on the I2P network, you can do so and do it anonymously from your home computer or server. And you can do that without giving up your identity, without giving up your IP address to any of the visitors. So you have that and you also have the security of the end-to-end -end encryption that is built into all EAP sites. All .i2p sites have built-in end-to-end encryption, far superior to simple HTTPS as we see on the ClearNet. So yet another benefit to the I2P network and hosting a .i2p site is all .i2ps use end-to-end -end encryption to ensure there is no man in the middle attack occurring so that's yet another benefit of hosting on I2P and now that I have finished the installation of the plugin now to rehash the instructions all you need to do is go to this URL this link here I'll leave it in the description or as a comment and after you do that scroll down find your operating system first of course you want to ensure you have a working I2P browser set up with Java I2P or I2P Plus, which is the one I recommend for everyone to at least start out with as it has many features and has a really nice looking interface. Now once you've done that, you'll simply right click on this, you will copy the link, and then you'll go to your configure plugins, go to install plugin, and simply paste it right here. So if you go to this address at the top here, you'll be right at the plugins page. And from here, you'll simply paste that in, and then you'll simply go to install plugin. Now once it completes, which will have a bar graph over here to show you the progress. Now once it's fully finished or you see no more bar graph, go to the admin page and start setting up your first I2P based blog. Now, once you've filled in your information on your blog, which will be your username, which you're going to write as, then a valid email address and set a password that you can remember or write down or manage otherwise in a password manager and then hit register. Now we're ready to sign in. So we'll simply fill out the information that we just signed up with. Now we hit log in.
One thing you'll want to make sure you have is JavaScript enabled. I happen to have it disabled by default, so you'll just go to About Config if you need to and hit JavaScript enabled true. And after you do that, this page should reload just fine. Awesome. I'm ready to create my first post. So thanks for following along with me, guys. I really hope to see you guys spin up an I2P-based blog. And if you do, leave it in the comments, and I'll make sure your comment stays up. You know, sometimes certain platforms may filter out links, but if I'm able to, I'm going to make sure your comment and your blog stays on the comments section. And if you don't have a comment stay up, let me know some other way through email, write to privacy at i2pmail.org, and I'll post a link to your blog as long as it doesn't have anything, uh, we'll say, adult. Uh, as long as it fits within those guidelines, uh, I will share your blog on this post at the bottom, and I'll update it with anyone who follows this tutorial, and that way you can get your blog out there and more people can see it. So thanks guys for following along. Let's say our first words. And we'll keep it simple. You can also add tags here. So if you want to add tags so people can better find it, uh, you can go to publish here so now that we finished it we can simply go over here at this point we can simply go over here to save and we should have our first post this is really cool so we're gonna go through more steps in coming content to show you more about this type of setup and how you can refine it to make it easier to find Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to follow the blog over at bmc.link slash politictech where you can find all kinds of tutorials and posts organized by category. And if you like this post, make sure to share it somewhere or at least like the video, leave a comment. If you don't like it, send a dislike. Let me know what you don't like, what you do like in the comments. And I'll be back later with more on I2P, how to protect your security and privacy. Oh, it's supposed to